This evening on Nationwide, we meet three inventive Irish people, all of whom have not only dreamed up ambitious business plans and designs, but have gone on to actually make their dreams become a reality. Irish people are dreaming up designs, making prototypes and selling their products at home and abroad. Noel Marshall is a native of Cork and he's an inventor who's been dreaming up ideas and making a success of his plans for a number of years now. His latest invention is called the Back Baller and it's being used by Premiership football clubs in the UK and also by athletes here at home. Well, we've been finding out about Noel, about his family and his inventive streak. For most families, no two days are the same. And for the family of prolific inventor and entrepreneur Noel Marshall, based in Shannon in County Clare, this couldn't be more true. I met Noel in Dublin uh, about 14 years ago. He can come with idea anytime. Sometimes when we have breakfast and sometimes even in the middle of the night, he's looking for paper and pen and go write down something about new invention or something, you know. I invent something because I see a need for it, not that I'm... And I've seen that with people like they're, they're trying to force themselves to invent something. He travels a lot, it's hard because for the family, you know. But uh, I understand the situation because uh, he supports the family and I support him as well. I suppose my job as an inventor and the fact that you obviously have to market your invention involves being away, exhibiting, you know, it, that has its impact on family life naturally. But, uh, but we're, when we're here, we, we, we make the most of it and, um, you know, it's not so bad. I've invented this tool called the Bricky. You quite simply place it on your brick wall, come along with your trolling mortar, you place it into the slot, you lift this up, you're left with a perfectly uniform layer of mortar the reason I invented this tool is because it allows anybody to lay perfect brickwork. Noel came to the attention of Nationwide viewers when he launched his first major invention way back in 2001. It's a brilliant idea because it's simple to use, there is no mess, and we're going to revolutionise the bricklaying world. The Bricky was a product I invented at the very end of the year 2000. It came about on the farm at home when I was struggling to build some walls and I, you know, I figured uh, a, a simple template could assist me in doing a more efficient job. So I set about and made one. I got the tooling built in Ireland. I found a manufacturing facility here in Shannon, which is what brought me to Shannon in the first place. Initially I struggled, you know, it wasn't until I got it on TV that we really started to, you know, do some numbers in terms of sales. In fact, in 2008, We've done in excess of 100,000 units, you know, and to this day it continues to sell well. Noel's latest invention came about when he was trying to find a solution to a health problem that was troubling him. When I was in my mid-twenties and competing at a high level of athletics, you know, I competed at a national level. At the time I'd have been nine stone in weight. I, I went from being very fit to getting less active and getting busier with my business and over the years I actually put on four stone weight and I think as a consequence of that is how my back issues came about really. I went to the chiro, the physio, osteopath, needling, done the lot. The only solution that was really sustainable was SMR or self-myofascial release, the ability to self-treat and that was done via the regular foam roller and lacoste ball. Two simple items, you put them on the floor and you roll in them. So using them regularly, every day, I began to get relief. But while I was doing that, I had clicks going off in the back of my mind saying, you know, something with a bit more control and stability, you know, could be brought to this to make the process even, even better. With an idea forming in my head, I started to visualize what a finished product would look like. And one day I made a prototype quite crude and that formed the basis for what became the backballer. What really gave me the conviction to go forward with it was what I was feeling on the ground. I went from a state of being in chronic pain to getting back 
full mobility, my full range of motion returned. I got back, I was able to run again, play golf, play football, the things I love to do. And I know the pain of injury. Injury is depression. And when you have something to combat that in a meaningful way, you know you have a product that people are going to want. Back Bowler is now used by sports clubs and medical professionals all over the world. When I first saw the backballer, I was very intrigued by it and I just thought it was an absolutely brilliant design. I was um, very surprised to find out that it was a local person that came up with this concept. You do see all athletes across all sports using a foam roller. It's an essential piece of kit now. So um, if, if all these top class professional athletes are finding benefit from using the foam roller as well, we would, all, we would always recommend it to our clients that they should be using it after sport and exercise. The baller empowers us to take control as we can now comfortably access and apply deep trigger point pressure right into the tissue of our core back muscles, the trapezius, rhomboid and latissimus dorsi. Back baller is also used by Premier League clubs and NFL teams. Okay. You best 20 minutes in this every evening. You arrive ready, ready to go another notch. However, success comes with a lot of hard work. I suppose a lot of people that are inventors do struggle financially. It's one thing having great ideas. There's financial headache involved in turning them ideas into reality, you know. It's one thing having a great product, but you know, to, to sell it, you really have to get out there and, and meet people and meet clubs and present it, you know, just on a consistent basis. But uh, I, I enjoy that. Noel is constantly on the road giving demos on how best to use the backballer. He loves visiting sports clubs to introduce them to his invention that helps maintain sports fitness. Four years ago, guys, I couldn't get out of bed. I was in that much pain. This thing has got me back training because I'm doing this every day of the week. I'm practicing what I'm preaching, okay? Noel is a, he's a larger than life character, so he is, uh, he's, a, he's, he's full of fun and um, as you can see there from the session he just did, he brings huge enthusiasm and, and cracked any session he runs. Compared to your normal foam rollers, you know, it certainly gets into the muscles. If you ask even any, anyone to choose this regularly, that's one of the, the key benefits that they'll, they'll, they'll tell you about it. You know, it really helps recovery after, um, after training sessions or games. We certainly find it a huge benefit to, um, to our squad here. We had a hard game on Sunday, so um, it kind of it does loosen down the, the, the tension and the tightness in the, in the muscles. The lads are very happy with it, and I think they'll get great use out of it. And I suppose maybe the results might see, so hopefully we'll have a bit of success down the line with it. So where does Noel see his backballer product in years to come? You know, obviously we're really pleased with year one. You know, we've 13,000 units sold. The reviews are positive. We're gaining traction throughout the world, you know, but ultimately I hand on heart feel this is a product we can sell a million units of because it's so simple, so effective and bottom line, people like it. It works. I've got to tell you, I have been inspired by those stories of innovation this evening and I hope you have as well.